So this is a rear pod. Um, I kind of want to build it up on something flat, like a piece of glass like this is. Um, you also want to get everything started and then go in a, a cross pattern to tighten. You know, and that, that way you're not going to be getting it, you know, cocked off where it's all, it's out of kilter or whatever. That way the, you know, it should be fairly easy to get the, the diff in and out of there. And it's going to spin, you know, halfway decent. Because if you got it all twisted up, it's not going to spin very well. So that's kind of what you're looking for. And also, too, I'll mention... You got your your bearing adapters for the the motor pod, and um, you want to make sure the on the edge of these things there's gonna be burrs from coming off the the tree like this. You know, you got your they come on the, the little tree. Well, you want to make sure that you're getting all the burrs off of them and all the, the junk and sometimes it even pays to take a little bit of material just kind of run around it with a dremel you know something like this you're just giving everything a little shave um, you don't have to take much off it's just kind of like to take the, the high spots off and that way when you put the bearing in there gonna go in pretty easy um, you don't want to take too much off but just enough so it's not when you press it in there it's not gonna crush down and uh, put a bind on your your axle and your bearing which it sounds like you know how would that cause a bind it's just plastic but really there is a difference um, with how that works so anyway um, again you could, it, this is actually a decent way to build it because you can get everything all squared away. You know, um, the whole thing's kind of like a unit. You can put it on your chassis there like that. Um, take your screws and screw it together, of course. And, uh, you know, again, if you're using aluminum parts and stuff like that, you have to kind of keep an eye on them because the aluminum parts will actually if you lose the screws will back out a little bit because it's metal not not so much with the pod um, just because of the fact that that you're going through the plastic versus straight metal to metal but some of the other spots like like here on that the pivot block and uh, the posts and stuff like that you have to be careful. I mean, you can check them all the time, or maybe you know use a little thread lock. I, if you're gonna use thread lock, only a little tiny, tiny bit, because you don't want to do so much that you'll never be able to get it out again. But you just a little dab, you know, a little dab will do you. Like they used to say for the the hair cream, right? But you just gotta keep an eye on everything. It's you know, as as far as going over the car between rounds and everything else. It always pays to check the bottom of the cars to make sure nothing has backed itself off because I've, I've had that point happen and that's never too fun especially when your car's dragging something around the track so you can see now we got the pot on there you know, it moves around a little bit it's got a little bit of room to, to play and work um, and you can throw the post on there, I suppose, because we're going to be putting something on there pretty soon. Just put your post on there like that. One spring. Um, then there's your damper disc. There's the other one. And there's your plate. Now, the thing about this is I used to always run really stiff um, damper fluid on here um, and really probably 
when you're running foam tires, it's it's an advantage to run a little bit stiffer loop. You know, in the older 103 cars, I was running like 30,000 weight diff oil or 20,000, which probably in the end was a little too much to make the car a little too aggressive. With uh, rubber tire, here you're looking to make the rear end of the car hook up most of the time, so it's probably going to be much, much lighter. Um, you know, the, I've heard guys say three dabs of uh, associated diff lube. You know, people do stuff like that. I like I like the A scale diff oil because it's always the same thing over and over again. You can be fairly consistent. Um, but I would say start real light. You can maybe want to just start at like a thousand and see how the traction is because um, it's it's something you're gonna wind up changing around. So that being the case. So I find my, my diff oil. And we're going to start light. Today we'll try a little bit of 2000. You don't have to put much on there, just a little bit. Kind of use the other plate to work things around. So you can actually, you really can actually do this all as a, an assembly and throw it on there. Okay, just a little dab more. So the idea you're not trying to goop everything, you just want to get, make sure you got something on there though too versus having nothing on there. Because there won't be any dampening action if you don't have any dampening lube. Then the same thing, I kind of, you know, on the top, I'll go around a little bit like that, maybe. Throw your top disc on. Sort of get everything smushed around. Put this on. Now, there's two ways to do this. You can put your Put your springs on, or your and and your 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 nut on top of there. Some guys will put an O-ring on there. I like to use a second nut. Um, it's easier if you have one laying around, but I do um, put a second nut on there, and it kind of double nuts it. It locks it down. It's not going anywhere. Um, and you also don't have to worry about the O-ring popping off. You know, there you can. You can have a larger range of adjustment because your O-ring's not going to come flying off. Uh, not that I'm, that's a huge concern, but some people are worried about that. Um, for some people it is a bit of a concern. So, uh, the cap back on this thing, so it'll go everywhere for sure. So, basically here, just need to get, did I put that on the right way? Yeah. Um, basically here, you want to get your button head screws or whatever you're going to use. Put the, put this thing on there. And I think I'm forgetting the spacers for this too. I will be back in a second. And we'll talk about the spacers.